wir möchten uns, dass ihr deutsche Jungen und deutsche Mädchen in euch all das aufnehmen, was wir der ein und von Deutschland hoffen. Wir wollen ein Volk. Mommy and I cannot leave, but you're going to leave. You're going to England, he said. their child we will soon come and follow how otherwise did the parents get the little children onto the train
grandmother that there was a child who was crying and crying and crying. And I said to my mother, I'm not crying like that little girl. And my mother said, oh, you're being very brave. You're being just wonderful. I was not crying because I was practicing a survivor's trick. Instead of saying, I am so unhappy, I'm leaving my parents, I was thinking and experiencing, this is very exciting, I'm going to England. My father took me aside and said, now Vera will be your responsibility. He didn't give me instructions. He said, I know that you will look after her. I know that you will do your best. I know that you will be brave. I can be proud of you. He put a heavy burden on a 14-year-old shoulder. both my sister and me a diary. He said to write into it not only what I do, but what I think, so that he could see the way I grew up when, when we meet again. Dear good darling parents, I feel very safe here. If only I was not so very scared about your safety. I remember trying hard to believe that we really will come back. And I have always connected, as I've said, I've connected the inability to mourn for my father with having cut myself off uh, that first, uh, on that first separation from the real feeling uh, and, and really uh, supplanting the word grief with the word interesting. Uh, I, to this day, I intend to say, isn't that interesting when I mean something very different? When I mean, isn't this intolerable? My uh, sense that it took me a, a couple of decades before I reconnected with my genuine experience of many things. In 1938, I got out of Germany in the kindertransport. I was meant to survive. I look at my children, and my grandchildren, I know there was a purpose to my life. 